G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, I've gone and done it. I've purchased myself a Celestron Rasso. Now, I know some of you guys may be thinking, well, for the past eight months, you've been making these videos, shooting Night Sky with a Celestron Rasso. Why are you making an unboxing uh, video now? Well, the truth is guys, this isn't that scope. This is a second eight inch Celestron Rasus telescope, which uh, then opens up some more questions, doesn't it? Why am I buying a second Celestron Rasus telescope? Has something happened to my old one? You know what? Leave a comment and, uh, and try and take a bit of a guess as to why uh, I have got another Celestron Rasus uh, telescope. Uh, but I'll reveal that video in. Um, in a couple of days time. Well, let's uh, get unboxing, shall we? So uh, I just wanted to share this with you because like anyone who purchases a new telescope, they always get a bit excited about it all. And I wanna share this uh, with these guys. And uh, I also wanna um, share the fact that I may be bringing some clouds upon you all. I'm terribly sorry for that. Let's get started. Well, here we have it, a uh, box within a box. So uh, let's keep digging. All right, let's keep going, shall we? Ooh. Don't need that. Ooh, and there it is. Oh, and here it is, Celestron. Rasa F2. Now I'll just move this box to the side here. Now it's always a bit awkward uh, opening up this plastic and taking it out. And there it is. So, as you can see, um, there really <laughs> isn't much to uh, an unboxing of a, uh, a new scope, um, apart from the excitement of having the new scope. But uh, I'll just run through a couple of things with the, uh, uh, the Celestra and Rasa that you get straight out of, um, out of the box. And the first thing I'm gonna mention is the uh, fan on the back. So the Celestron Rasa has its own 12 volt internal uh, fan there. And that helps with um, stabilizing the uh, the air on the inside of the telescope um, compared to your ambient temperature on the outside of your telescope. And what that does is improves the um, uh, focus um, quality of your stars and uh, stuff like that. So if you've just taken your telescope out of a warm car, and going to start imaging, there's a pretty good chance that your uh, your focus isn't going to be as good as what it will be a bit later on in the night, and you'll have to refocus. So, having the fan connected, drawing through all that air to try and stabilize the inside of the telescope. So the uh, so it's very similar to the outside of the uh, sorry the ambient temperature um, will improve your uh, your focus uh, uh, dramatically. Um, and I haven't had any issues. Uh, with refocusing throughout a night. So the other thing is the uh, the uh, focuser on the back here. Now, as you know, my um, my other Celestron Rasa has the Celestron electronic focus motor, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing um, for this one here. Now, I know uh, some of you might be saying, well, why don't you get a ZWO um, focuser? And 
to be honest with you, I've been really happy with the Celestron one. Um, I've no dramas with it whatsoever, whatsoever. So I'm just going to stick to what I know, and uh, and I do love my uh, my Celestron product. So um, I'm going to uh, buy another focus motor and stick it on the back of here, which I've found to be a very big improvement. I've been able to get um, a really good focus with a, a electronic focus motor compared to just having to um, turn your little uh, focuser here. All right, so. If anyone's purchasing one of these, I would highly advise on getting an electronic focuser for for your uh, your telescope. Now, um, to be honest with you, there really, really isn't a, a great deal to um, to mention. I will get this little box here out and show you what it is. So here we have. The um, the little battery pack takes eight eight AA batteries, and that's to power your fan here on the back. Uh, but as some of you may already know, though, I use the ZWO ASI Air Pro with some um, external um, uh, twelve volt power sockets on it, and I just run a cable from that onto my um, onto my fan. So I don't really need or use um, this. This here, but if you don't have that, then get yourself uh, eight AA batteries to power your your fan on the back, or um, get yourself another uh, cigarette um, twelve volt socket connector, and uh, and do it that way. We also have one of the uh, the main uh, rings here, which goes on to the the front of the scope. as well as various camera adapter brackets. And a couple of little uh, knobs to screw into the bottom of your, uh, your dovetail plate there. Now, the scope's getting dirty already. On the business end, Here we go. So on the front here, we've got uh, this little filter cell here, which can be replaced uh, with a Celestron Rasa light pollution uh, filter cell. If you're imaging from um, locations that are you know, very heavy in light pollution, they do a, an excellent job. I've uh, used some, well, I've used mine um, here in the backyard a fair few times. However, I've replaced mine with a um, beta UV IR cut filter, and under the dark skies, that's where you benefit more from um, rather than the, the light pollution uh, filter. Uh, so this is the uh, the adapter that I tend to use for my ZWASI 294 MC Pro camera here, and it's pretty simple to uh, to install. You just grab your large ring, place it inside like so, and what I tend to do is grip a hold of the thread here, place it over the top. I don't know if you can see that too well. And just start threading it on like so. Okay, so pretty simple. The camera sits on the front of the telescope here rather than the, the rear of the telescope that you see pretty much a lot of the um, uh, astro images uh, tend to use, but I do I do like the idea of putting the camera on the front. At first, I was a bit skeptical about it. I wasn't too sure, to be honest, um, but it's a price you pay for F2 optics. And now that I've um, been shooting with mine for quite a while now, uh, I, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter to me at all, the fact that it's, on the front instead of on the back. I think it's pretty cool actually. Um, the other thing I want to mention too is the, uh, you can put um, mirrorless cameras on the front of these, uh, the F2, sorry, the eight inch Rasa. However, I, I wouldn't really 
do it too much. Um, the full frame I shoot with Nikon, so the full frame Z7, Z6, I have had on the front. Um, actually, I will go get my uh, Z7 and I'll show you um, what I mean. So here is my Z7 Nikon camera. And as you can see, it takes up a lot of that front corrector plate once it's on there. Um, I've only really used it when photographing the moon. Um, and I mean, I have uh, just messed around a little bit and shot some deep space targets with it. So you can do it, but you will get really weird diffraction spikes. And um, when you start to really try and tease out some of those details, you will see the shape of the camera. <laughs> Um, which I've, I've seen a couple of times. Uh, the little Z50, uh, which I used to record a lot of my YouTube videos, um, that there, again, being a little bit smaller, um, still takes up a fair bit of space on the front of your, uh, um, your eight inch um, telescope. So it's not something that can't be done, but uh, I wouldn't be um, doing it all the time because your images will be slightly degraded as compared to a dedicated um, round Astro um, camera. Plus the Astro cameras are cooled, so I'd rather use one of them than the, uh, than the uh, mirrorless camera. Well guys, that, uh, that's pretty much it for the uh, unboxing of my new Celestron Rasa uh, eight inch telescope. If you've got any uh, comments about the scope itself, please leave a comment. Um, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Uh, I love all the uh, support I've been getting from you guys. And if you're new to uh, my channel and my videos, please check them out. And if you enjoy it, subscribe. All right, guys. Well, as I said, a couple of days time, I will be releasing another video as to um, why I've actually purchased my um, second Rasa uh, telescope. But let me know in the comments below why you think I've purchased a, uh, a second Celestron Rasa. Is it because my old Celestron Rasa is broken or something's happened to it? Hmm. Yeah. Don't know. I'll keep that a secret for now. All right, guys. Well, until next time, take it easy. See ya.